Let's start it. Just what I was hoping to hear. There's a slate waiting for you in the transfer system. Those are the details for our first stop. Together, I feel like on it. Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. Never had a class one citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. I'm just here to collect whatever it is that class one thing pays. Luckily, I'm one step ahead of you. I've already gone ahead and processed your class one benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the credits should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. This should be able to grant you access. Where is this Realty Office? Just out the front door and across the plaza, by the embassies. Look for the Affilion sign. Glad to see that the UC give credit where credit is due. Higher-ups wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But, with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. There are your standard Vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up Terramorphs. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any, uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those missions call to you? All of them. Um, new alien threats? Sure. You'll have all the specifics. If you find yourself looking for more work, you know where to find me. Captain, something up? Clean up some Terramorphs. Sure thing. You ready to head out right now? Any chance you could uh, up the standard rate for me? I'm a specialist after all. Oh. <laughs> I went ahead and authorized the highest specialist pay grade we've got as soon as it was decided you'd be doing this work. You're getting top dollar. So, are you good to get started? Let's go. Let's get to the details. Okay, these coordinates should get you to your first target. There. That Terramorph doesn't have a prayer. Let's run the Vanguard okay. mission. Could use a hand clearing out some United Colonies airspace. You interested? What can I expect? Trouble. At least a couple of crafts worth from the sound of it. And we don't expect them to play nice, so you'd be weapons free on this mission. Any level of force required to deal with the threat. So, still interested? I'm game. All right, let's get you the details. These missions are straightforward. Proceed to the location, kill the... Critter before it can do any more harm. Just be smart out there. Don't want you getting banged up too bad on your first hunt. Super at Ultra, Captain. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Report says ships at these coordinates fired on United Colony's craft. You're clear to use lethal force if necessary. Crimson Fleet decided to rear their ugly heads. Make them regret it. Fly smart. You're authorized to use whatever force required to bring down those hostile. I'm 
I'm always ready to make a deal. Well, well, if it isn't the United Colony's newest Class 1 citizen, you've made quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. In fact, the higher-ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. What do you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. I'm interested. Great. You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. Okay, you're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. <laughs> now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. New Atlantis frame rate still sucks. It's better, but it still still sucks. Oh wow, it's much better here. I guess it's just the mass district that's terrible. Sure, we can find some. Absolutely splendid. Another empty room. Okay. This is the bathroom. Jesus. This must be my bedroom. With its own balcony overlooking the city. This is my master's bathroom. The dryer. This must be the side bedroom. Okay, okay. Let's build. Okay. Uh. Oh. 
Industrial. Pharma. Well, can I place it outside here? Oh, I can. Oh, that's great. So, industrial, pharma. Let's do that one. Search. Yeah, I don't know where to put this last one though. Nope, I can't move. I place it there. Fine, we'll place it all in this side room. This is gonna be my uh constructing room I guess Place the cooking one inside the kitchen. I mean, it is like right here, huh? Great. No TV? monitor
Ooh, ship modeling room. Could be this. Oh yeah, displays. Good God, this thing is huge. I can't believe I don't have like a super bed or something. Oh, I can change how it looks.
come on there's no like low rectangular glass desk Middle of this room is way too uh, empty. And my round table. Okay. I'm I'm happy with that actually. We don't need a back, because we're going to lean on the wall, right? I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm doing it because it's slightly fun for me right now to uh, have this, but, you know, there's really no reason for me to actually... Uh, decorate any of the things here because I don't, I'm not going to Mounted sea bat.
mounted radar face. Lockjaw. Mounted beetle grab. Nope. Nope. That's horrifying. <laughs> I can deal with a lot of things, but that is horrifying. Uh, we'll put the uh, the wall wall thing there. From the kitchen. You know, we can watch things. Actually, can I just, uh... It'll never be straight. I'm not even going to try. Okay. We have a towel rack. a monitor here why not requires adhesives.
okay. Well, that is enough decorating for today. Pretty, uh, pretty good. Not the best looking house, no, but, but, it's still pretty good. Ornamental rock. That's pretty. Just a pretty rock. All right, guys. Where to next? Oh. Let's go eliminate hostiles around Hadley. with Percival. Anything at all giving you pause. You come see Dr. Walker or I. Little problems left unchecked become big problems. And we fix big problems here, not make them. Now let's get to work. Welcome, everyone, to the TMD. Pardon. 
took hundreds of years for terramorphs to spread across the stars. We're gonna need to be a lot faster cleaning them up. Pardon? Yes, what? I find Mars much more agreeable than Nira. Did you end up in Nira after the war? I'm not certain. After the disbanding of the Red Devils and the Xena Warfare team, I was put into storage. I do not know how I came to be reactivated. But a partially deleted log suggests sale to a non-military third party. I presume this third party was responsible for transporting me to Nira and providing me with my new directive. Eliminate the planet's remaining Xeno weapons. I have no additional data on the subject. Can you tell me about your time with the Xeno Warfare Unit? My primary work was accompanying Major Sanon and Dr. Walker on field assignments to collect specimens for possible battlefield application. But on more than one occasion, I was actively deployed. My time on Nira, directing Unit 99 and its siblings against Free Star forces, was such a deployment. Never seen a robot with your capability before. Who built you, Kaiser? Major Sanon is responsible for my creation. The work of the Xeno Warfare team required a vast array of specializations. Field scientists capable of surviving in deadly environs. Soldiers delicate enough to leave dangerous Xeno life forms subdued, but unharmed. Major Sanon constructed me in an attempt to accomplish all those needs. I believe my field record would show that she was successful. Closing log. History better damn well not repeat itself. Look who it is. Have you been uh, with the UC? Who knows? Probably need to cut me down and count the rings to figure it out at this point. I joined UC DRIP, Defense Research and Initiative Program, right after graduation. Worked on all kinds of projects, but I fell hard for Xenobio. The way I saw it, nature had already figured out plenty more than we ever will. So, why not just copy some of the answers? Initially, it was a lot of material sciences, using carapace to make tougher ship hulls, Biofluids for helmet glass that didn't fog. But when the war started looming, top brass in the UC military had other ideas for what we should be looking into. That's where Xeno weapons got started. There was a team before us, set up in some secret base somewhere. I asked you one down question: a fair How long have you been with the field. UC? But when a lab accident took them down, they a called number on Hedy and been I nice. to take up the mantle, that's set an in answer. motion everything that's come since. You and Hadrian have known each other for a long time, huh? Oh, yeah. Known each other since the Xeno weapons team first set up on Mars. You can imagine my shock when I walked into this place for the first time and found some plucky 19-year-old was going to be my partner. <laughs> we were supposed to be co-heads initially, but you've dealt with Hadrian. You can imagine about how long that lasted. But the Major knew her stuff. Saw potential in all her staff and knew how to get the best out of them kind of bull only an uncynical woman like Adrian could pull off. <laughs> For all the damage that group did, we were, well, we were real tight-knit. Having that back, it's nice. And tell me about your time in Xeno Warfare? Why? I want to watch an old man squirm? What we did back then, we were trying to win a war. We used every tool we had, tools we were permitted to use at the time, to try and win it. I think it's ridiculous that you see threw you out. You were doing what they ordered. Well, you see did what the situation demanded, just like all of us did. And frankly, it's been too damn long for me to hold a grudge anymore. But at least now, with the TMD, some of that work is finally being put to better ends. Makes looking back a little less painful. I've heard you got some work. You heard right. These terramorph attacks, they got the UC off guard. UC Brass doesn't like that. 
So, they want us patrolling the front lines of xenological life. Ensure we've got intel on any possible new alien threats. Which means, we need someone to track down said aliens, and harvest samples from them. And not just any sample from these animals is gonna do, either. We're trying to build a comprehensive picture here, which requires specific cells from specific family lines of some oftentimes unfriendly creatures. But since dealing with unfriendly creatures falls square in your wheelhouse, well, I figured we might be able to recruit you for the task. Harvesting samples? Am I going to have to kill these creatures? This isn't the same sort of harvesting you and Hadrian were doing with the Terramors. A little will go a long way here. If you can get close enough to these creatures to harvest from them directly, you should be able to collect what we need without killing them. I checked with the Lieutenant Gwalter before heading out. A good EM weapon could serve you well on these missions. Though, if heavens forbid, there's no viable option other than putting the things down. We're only talking a select few specimens here. These populations will recover. What sort of creatures are you talking about? Pretty much every beast, behemoth, critter, and chimera humanity's run across is on the list. But we can send in-house researchers after the little guys. Your job will be primarily dealing with the, uh, more troublesome species. You can count on me. Glad to hear it. There is just one additional wrinkle. You see spec this as a one-person job, but I convince them this sort of task merits expert backup. So, if you're interested, they've agreed to let you take Hadrian with you. You'll have to convince her, of course. But I don't think she'll fight you too badly. You don't need Hadrian here? We could use Hadrian here, absolutely. But we have other scientists. Not a lot of other people can go up against apex predators and come home again and again. You and Hadrian are the right people for this job. I loved how Hadrian watching my back again. I expect she wouldn't mind too badly being out there herself, so... Pay her a visit before you head out. Now, let's get you the details of your first quarry. Here you go. Head there, find your specimens, and bring those samples back here. I'll have a tech waiting outside to collect them from you. And remember, proximity should be all you need to get your samples. Get close, harvest, and get out before they spot you. Don't let them... Something up with the job? Well, should be getting back to it anyway. Military grade heart. Everything up to spec. Modified EM advanced shoddy. Can't do the job without no more reliable.
You need something? Dr. Walker has found support for his current field work needs elsewhere. Okay, I'm listening. What's going on? How are things? Things are good. It's nice to see the place cleaned up again. Brings back a lot of old memories. How's your assignment? Been great so far. I'm happy to be working with Percival again. I think the TMD's set up to make a real difference in the settled systems. I'm honored to be a part of it. I could use a backup. Backup? What does that have to do with me? Will you ever consider leaving Mars? Maybe. Why do you ask? I was hoping you'd be me. I think we make a good team. I come with you? You can't be serious. There's no way Percival would okay that. I have important work to do here with the TMD. You're not interested? No, it's not that. You just caught me by surprise. I figured I'd be at the TMD for the long haul. Percival's already got UC's okay. He thinks you'd be happier in the field. Percival just can't help meddling, can he? I can't just pick up and leave the TMD. That's a huge decision. Hmm, there's so much left to discover. A scientist like you should be out in the fields. Yeah, maybe. I have to admit, that trip to Londinian whetted my appetite for field work. I saw myself at the TMD for the long haul, but if Percival already okayed this, then I'm in. If you really need backup out there, I'll watch your six. me helping out on my crew you okay with that you can count on me to pull my weight i'll always help out in combat and i'm happy to assist you with any research too having an extra xeno sociologist around on this assignment sure couldn't hurt we'll be dealing with plenty of hostile creatures let's go yeah i think so too thank you for the offer really it was unexpected but i think this will be for the best both for me and for the settled systems. No. Even though she doesn't contribute anything to the ship, I still want her on there. I'll head out soon. I just need to talk to Percival before I go. He's gonna get an earful for arranging this without talking to me about it first. See you, Captain. Wait. I wonder if he has a personal quest. Howdy. Howdy. About 
Foley Cheyenne. Eliminate the Terramorph on Koo. Uh, not where I want to go. No one here? I mean, it wouldn't make sense if there were. Actually, I take that back. Yeah. It would not make sense if there were. There is a Terramorph just sitting there. Back to scanning planets.
We're on our... Oh, thank you for responding. We had someone jump in and leave without even saying hi. We're with, uh, List, and we're just trying to get to our new home. But our grab drive is old, like really old, and I'm afraid it's giving up the ghost. Um, I have a feeling this is where you beg for help. We're not asking for charity. We have some credits. We have a workbench here, but we need just common old iron. A lot of it. Then we should be able to jury rig some repairs. Any chance you have some? We'll pay loads more than the iron's actually worth. All right, here we go. What exactly is wrong with your grab drive? It's just dead. The whole unit is like a brick now. No power readouts. The diagnostic log only says it's offline. Well, what we can read. I think some of the warnings are in Cyrillic. You know, those old Russian letters. All right, here you go. That should do us. Thank you. And this should cover the iron and then some. We'll be heading out hopefully shortly. Goodbye. What's new? I just read about them. You know, Constellation's the first place I'm genuinely proud to be associated. I found some stuff. Don't be a stranger. I hope Dad's right and everything's just fine. Okay. Sorry, I was lost in thought. See you later. We will talk with people in a bit. And I mean later today. Because I gotta go. Thank you guys for watching so far. This really early morning stream. I am having actually a lot of fun with this. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.